welcome back to Behind the Music with Holden and Ryan. Tonight, we're going to be going over our past drum cover of Be Somebody by Thousand Foot Crutch. So, Ryan, why did you choose this song? Well, I chose this song mostly because I can identify with it on an emotional level. Um, it's, you know, I think most everybody who listens to this song hears the lyrics, feels the the way they uh, put emotion into the you know the different instruments, you can really tell that it's a great song. So I can really get into the song. All right, playing it, yeah. So how long have you been listening to Thousand Feet, Thousand Foot Crush? Um, I've been listening to Thousand Foot Crush um, for a long while now. I'd say I've listened to really the only that album that the songs off of. I've li listened to most of those songs and learned a lot of those songs a long while ago. Um, but beyond that, um, you know, what came after, what came before, I'm not really too keen on or haven't really listened to much of that. Okay. So, yeah. So you said you connected a lot to this song emotionally. Yeah. Are there any other songs on this album that you've been listening to that you connect the same way to? Right. Um, I'd say definitely songs that I can connect to on this album. Different emotions though. This one is more of like, you know, you get a sense of like accomplishment. Um, you get a sense of um, feeling something bigger than what's beyond or what, what you're going through right now. Um, whereas like another song would be Let the Sparks Fly. Um, that song is like a pump up song or like maybe a gym song. Um, but yeah, there's definitely other songs on here that um, I can really get into, for sure. Okay, so getting into some of the mechanics of the song, right, right. how long did it take you to kind of master this song? Um, master this song? I don't think I'm quite there yet. Um, I do think that a lot of the um, main riffs or drum beats on the song are, you know, quite easy to master, per se. Um, but to master this song is kind of like a, a goal you can't really reach because you can really take the song and make it your own, especially with like the intro. I mean, for close to a minute, there's no drums to the song. Um, so as you'll see in my, my rendition of the song, um, I'm playing around with the hi-hat mostly and you know the, the bells on the crashes. Um, and maybe a little bit of kick in there. Um, so yeah, to master this song, um, I'd say it took me a week okay. to, to get to where I was confident, where I was like, yeah, I'll, I think I'm ready to to put some on the internet, yeah. Okay, are there any specifics about the mechanics of the song you want to point out? Um, specifics on the mechanics, um, well, in my, um, in my cover of the song, right before the second chorus, there's the verse, and in the second half, he kind of chops up the feel on the hi-hat. And if you go back and put in some headphones, you can really hear what I'm doing on the hi-hat. And to break it down for you, I'm pretty much playing a paradiddle in between my right and left hand in between the snare and the hi-hat. And then um, at one point I'm throwing in a double kick um, to you know take up that space. And that's you know comes back to the making the song your own. Um, I heard what the drummer was playing, um, but I kind of felt something else. And what came out of that was something that know, I had been practicing with a bunch of other things um, outside of the song. And um, yeah, if you go back and listen to it, you can really see um, some some mechanical um, things that push my own drumming to its own limits and maybe, you know, push me past beyond what, you know, I was doing. Okay. So for anybody who's thinking about maybe playing this song on the drums, right. what kind of recommendations do you give them? Well, this is going to be something that comes up, you know, in almost all of these videos. You gotta, if you want to learn a song, you gotta be driven to learn it. You gotta listen to that song on repeat. 
you gotta make sure you know all those parts individually. You gotta be able to flow from, you know, for any song, you gotta be able to flow from different parts around your kit into the next part. Practice the fills. Play it slow. Um, make sure you're doing everything accurately first and then speed it up. Um, but more specifically, um, I got some hidden tips for the, for the viewers at home. That first big fill um, that starts off the song, yeah. um, it comes in on the two, if you're counting it one, two, three, four, it comes in on the two and then uh, your drum pattern on the hats is going to start in on the one. So remember that um, if you're having trouble, because it, it kind of comes in at, at a weird place. Um, just remember it comes in on the two. And then the second big fill in the song, um, where he goes into, I think it's the chorus, mm -hmm. it's right after that, um, that section that I was talking about earlier where I made it my own, that comes in on the and of one. So if you're counting it one and two and three and four and, it comes in on that one and. Okay, so what kind of music could we be expecting from you in the future? In the future, I'm looking to really push myself. So maybe some more funk style music here or there. Um, you might see another cover off of this album. Um, I, I know I mentioned Let the Sparks Fly, but there's some other songs from this band um, that I'm interested in looking at. Um, maybe Fly on the Wall um, by the Thousand Foot Crutch 2. Um, oh, uh, if any of you, you all have a suggestion for me, um, yeah. Anything you want to see, let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, we're always checking those for. Yeah, we're always always reading those comments. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and definitely let us know what Olden and I can provide for you all in different content in the future. Yeah. So beyond that, I mean, this has been the Be Behave Oddly Behind the Music, and I'm Ryan, and I'm signing out. This is Holden, I'm signing out, and remember to check the description for a link to our previous drum cover, and remember to subscribe and click the bell for future content. Exactly. Good night, y'all. See ya.